Hello, dear friends. I have been waiting for a new message from Matthew for a long time, and it just came out. Opinion piece. Progress. Advanced for good. Near horizon. Intensity of light. Indigenous memory. Let's start. A preview is a first state of something good or the fragments of a film being shown before its release. To advance means progress, move or prolong forward to improve an action, condition or state. It also means to hurry in Peru and Puerto Rico. Despite the turmoil, destruction and pain, there is more goodness, kindness and compassion than ever before in the history of the planet, according to Matthew's latest message through Susie Ward, dated 1st June 2023. Souls stand firm against injustices generated by darkness. That intensity of light is the reason why conflict and chaos is occurring around the world. It is part of a world that is breaking free from darkness. The high frequencies of light are overwhelming the lower vibrations, bringing a long era of darkness to an end. The coming solar flares, the surges of energy that raise the frequency, will offer sleeping people more opportunities to awaken. You too will benefit and the light you radiate will continue to uplift your Earth family. We know this is difficult, and that is understandable. You become ill, morose, disillusioned, angry, impatient, and exhausted. Some of your efforts fall short, and you make decisions that you realize in retrospect were bad. You don't always have satisfying jobs or sufficient income or a fair deal, and some days are just miserable. These problems are part of life on a third density world, and before you volunteered to go to Earth, you knew that this is what you would experience. You also knew that you would overcome whatever obstacles you encountered. When we know you want clear and irrefutable proof. You want to know when the new world economic system will be implemented. You want to know when you will have leaders with wisdom and integrity, and when the many hidden truths will come to light. We wish we could say more than on the near horizon but we do not know exactly when those vital developments will occur. What we can do is to assure you that the divine plan is right and touched, and that the members of the cosmic family are part of the liberating forces of light that some call white hats. The effort to start World War III failed, and the attempt to demolish strategic cities failed. Control over the media is breaking down. Prohibited weapons, labs, and illicit trafficking centers have been demolished in several countries, and black money laundering and cyber warfare have been prevented. The forces of light are working to size illegal funds so that the money can be used to end poverty. Your light has helped the peoples to awaken and has underpined every effort to overcome the darkness. Origin of evil. When the Waker civilizations fell prey to darkness, they were held captive within its low frequency. War, ignorance, poverty and fear, which are devoid of light, is how the dark ones controlled populations and that is what happened to the people of Earth. When light shortages endangered the life on the planet some 90 years ago, Gaia called for help, out of love for her and her residents. Highly evolved civilizations infused the planet with light, 
and souls began to leave their advanced wells to incarnate on earth and add their light. It was the reptilians mutated descendants of Luciferian energy who brought evil here. By agreement of a god and ruler of the universe, where the reptiloids originated, a portal was briefly opened so that some of them could enter ours. At that time in antiquity, they were the most intelligent species in the cosmos, and the agreement was intended to benefit both universes. By breeding and procreating with the souls living here, the incoming reptilians would genetically impart their superior intelligence while absorbing the light energy of this universe. When they returned to their universe, they would spread the high frequency of this energy throughout their civilizations and genetically endow successive generations of their progeny with superior intelligence. But the win-win situation envisioned by the two universal rulers didn't happen. Some of the reptiloids who came became light-loving beings as they passed on their genes, but they did not return home, and neither did those who rejected the light. They too proliferated and all of them have raked havoc since the first ones appeared eons ago. They washed the war and rendered Ten of the twelve strands of DNA inactive in the civilizations they conquered, making them susceptible to falling into darkness. Gaia, God and the Sun, manifested pristine green lands, crystalline seas, magnificent trees, flowers and other plants, and the mineral kingdom. She gave animal design ideas to the residents of Jupiter where similar conditions existed to manifest and transport wealth. When all was ready, Gaia asked some souls of highly evolved humankind civilizations if they would like to live in a wonderful new world, and they came at the speed of thought. Others came later through spacecraft, astral travel or incarnations. People animals, plants, and minerals, knew their beginnings in the infinite light of the Creator's love and their eternal connection with each other and with the ruler of this universe. All life forms communicated telepathically and flourished as a harmonious symbiotic unit. Negativity. Darkness or evil came to that paradise when people with only two strands of active DNA were established. Over time, their brutal behavior accumulated so much negativity that it almost extinguished the light on Earth. To save the, her planetary body, Gaia released the negativity in a series of earthquakes lasting several decades. An earthquake of sufficient magnitude to release that amount of negativity would have exploded the planet into countless fragments instead of preserving its life. The land mass was divided into several large regions, large and medium-sized islands, and many thousands of small islands. The new coastlines had peninsulas, bays, cliffs, and beaches. Earth's gently rolling terrain became rushed mountain ranges volcanoes, canyons, and deserts. The placid, sparkling seas became oceans with strong currents, lakes, rivers, and streams, and the flat terrain of the seabed became like in the new surface formations. The weather was no longer pleasant. Massive areas of ice developed at the polar extremes. Mountains were covered with a blanket of snow, an intolerable heat built up around the equator. After millennia had passed and the planet was habitable, a new civilization began, but darkness crept back in and committing atrocities once again became the nature of the people. 
This time Gaia released the accumulated negativity abruptly, with a nice age, and after its drastic effects subsided, the repopulation process began again. Since then, civilizations have risen and fallen, such as Atlantis, Mu and Lemuria. Creation While light may be considered visual, a love sensation or a spirit, life, light and love or science and spirit are the same energy, and it is the most powerful force in the cosmos. This energy is the infinite and eternal omniscience, omnipotence and omnipresence of the Creator as pure light of love. At an unknown time, the Creator created the first souls, called Archangels, and they had the mind and power of the Creator proportionately. That did not diminish in one iota. The Archangels were the Creator experiencing himself. At some point, he gave them the ability to co-create, they could use their energy to do anything they could think of. First, they made, they made the lower realm of angels, then gods and goddesses. Those souls who also had proportionately the mind and power of the Creator through the archangels added to their experience and that of their co-creators. After the archangels made the material for forms so that each soul could choose to have a body or remain a pure spirit, the Creator selected the pure spirit God to co-create and rule this universe, and other gods or goddesses to do the same in the other six universes. A God made myriads of souls, all of whom had proportionate mind and power, as his experiencer selves did not diminish his totality in any way. He is an amalgam of all the souls, in physical bodies or in spirit in this universe. Some of them helped him to create galaxies with billions of astral bodies, and all souls could choose to incarnate within or upon those bodies or be free spirits. The energy of the light of love, good or godly, was the total essence of all that manifested in this universe. Collective memory. The purity of the light of love that permeated the young earth and its first inhabitants was never being repeated. However, the indigenous peoples know that they and all other life forms on earth are connected to each other and to the ruler of this universe. To prevent their knowledge from spreading dark forces, inspired explorers from European nations to kill the natives on lands they claimed for their respective royal families. Later, the settlers continued the genocide. However, the tribal survivors passed on their knowledge to the descendants who preserved it, generation after generation, and the light within that truth helped us survive in deep third density until the infusion of light allowed her to begin to ascend. All beings of light in this universe honor you for your steadfastness in your mission and support you with the power of unconditional love. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.